Hi there, this is Todd Darius, V Whips, and uh, just recently a friend of mine asked me, um, do I have to replace the fall if, uh, if it turns into this? Well, the reason it turns into something like this is you don't crack your whip with the cracker off. Because if you crack your whip with the cracker off, you're going to end up with your fall getting all sorts of messed up. So this is very, very simple. Don't crack your whip with your cracker off. All right, uh, to fix this, it's not that hard, but you are going to shorten your fall, right? So uh, take a pair of scissors, right? Cut your fall, just like that. Discard this, right? See that little box I fell into? Ha! <laughs> All right, and check it out. Actually, I'll turn on another light just so you can see the heck I'm doing. Sorry about the, the, uh, here, let's try to adjust the light there. All right, cool. So, um, you, there's three layers. There's the paracord, um, that the, has the guts inside of it, and then there's the paracord shell, because I run the paracord through another piece of paracord. So what you gotta do is just kind of reach inside this layer of paracord here. Here, I'll bring it up closer to the to the camera, maybe it'll focus on it there. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's get that light up there. Maybe I'll. Here, I'll get it to focus. Pay attention. Right, see that? See right here? There's a, a piece of paracord on the outside and a piece of paracord on the inside. See there? I'll bring it back down here. So, what you got to do is uh, you take this paracord here, you pull it back a bit, and then you just kind of snip it off right here, like that. And then uh, don't bother singeing this because it's just going to get covered up, right? And then you take the paracord and you run your fingers down it. And what you should get is a part of the paracord here. I'll do the focus thing again. You get a piece of paracord with the with the guts still in it, and a piece of the paracord that's nice and flat. You see that there? See? This has got paracord in it, and this is just flat. You see? Oh, there we go. See that? Paracord in it, paracord flat. This little flat part is where you tie off the, uh, the cracker on your whip, so that's really funny. Where's my lighter? <laughs> oh, the, all right, so then you burn this right here. Oh, it's probably in here. Yep, there it is. A little workstation. I like my little workstation. You take the paracord, right? Let's give it a little burn. Don't grab it with your fingers because that's dangerous. You can get a second degree burn doing that. So then you just got a little bit of a, see there? A little bit of a burn there, just melt it. See? And then you take a cracker, let's see if I got a cracker. I happen to have a cracker sitting around. Right? You take a cracker and you put it back on your fall. This is not the easiest of crackers because I was rushing this one. There we go. See, so open that up, put the cracker on it. See there? I don't know if you can see it. I mean, I can see it, but here, I'll, I'll bring it up to the light. See there? You run the cracker up, the part of the paracord that's a bit thick, and then you put it in a little loop like that to where it goes over this. I've done this one video before already, but you know, just to recap, pull it through to where you end up with something that looks like this. See if I can get that nice and tight in the, in the camera. See there? It goes over, and you pull it down. You see how that little melted bit 
kind of sticks out a little bit. That keeps it from slipping through. That way when you pull it really, really tight, you see how that just kind of kind of locks it down there? It's nice. And that's it. See, now you gotta, now it's fixed. That's how you fix a uh, paracord fall on a paracord whip. My name is Todd Various of V-Whips. Thanks for, uh, thanks for focusing in. Thanks for uh, just taking a minute to watch this little video. I appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please uh, hit the little button right there and subscribe to it. I'd appreciate it. And uh, see you next time.